Alright. I'm at uh, 2984 Wintergreen. Um, old Carlsbad, around the area where we're looking at the other houses. But this is a neighborhood I've never been in before. Uh, so it's a nice neighborhood. This place is actually a little better than I thought it was going to be. But um, the houses are a bit close together. The, uh, the HOA fee is 165 bucks a month here, which I think is a bit, uh, a, a bit abusive, being that there's no, um, no pool or no amenities and stuff like that. So I'll tell you the good and the bad about the house as we go in. Uh, there's a reason that it's lower priced, because um, uh, it's beat up inside. But again, that's good sometimes. But I'm just not sure that um, that this is the right one. Anyway, I'll show you. So good. So, so I'll get to the good. Is three car garage, uh, good size. A little bit odd that you come in around the side door, to around the side gate here, to come into your uh, front door. But that's the way that the houses were built. Um, all the windows are original. The the yard is bigger than I thought it was going to be. The footprint of this house is is immense. The the house size itself is really big. That's uh, 29.92, I believe, was the square footage. I'm not sure they're utilizing it as well as they could. But, um, so you walk in the front door. Uh, stairs are over there. Living area over here. You can see much bigger living room than, uh, than we've seen in other houses. Again, just much bigger square footage. Okay, hard surfaces uh, throughout the Ginkon, for lack of a better word here, into that, uh, whether that's the rec room, you know, people people don't as much have traditional dining rooms anymore, so there's two big living spaces, one over there, one over here, okay? Uh, one good thing, and obviously this place needs to be completely painted, there's some work needed on the walls, or some other work needed that weren't needed in some of the other places, but again, that means it's not going to show well, maybe the price will come lower. So, uh, one good size bedroom downstairs, okay, leads into this bathroom right here. Let me tell you the first bearish thing I noticed is the uh, cabinets being held up by uh, by a couple two by fours, um, so that would need to be addressed. Okay, and then uh, a somewhat uh, annoying thing is that you open this this door leads right into the bathroom, and you can see it doesn't open. Wax into the toilet. Not the biggest thing in the world because if you come in from that that bedroom there, you kind of come in and close the door. And it's fine, but that would annoy you a little bit. Because this door also leads into the uh, to this downstairs bath, which is a full bath, by the way. So you got the full bed and bath downstairs, which, as I always say, um, is is good for the uh, grannies and stuff like that. Uh, laundry room, all that stuff is gone. Um, so yeah, all original windows, like I said, over here. You walk through, let's go, I'll go on this side. And I do like the fact that the kitchen, the kitchen's been redone and they did a pretty good job. Everybody loves these giant counters these days because as you can see right there, you put the stools up to the counter. So um, the kitchen's not huge uh, for a house this size, but it's updated and looks pretty good. So quickly just out to the backyard. The backyard's pretty cool. They got this built-in bar and barbecue area. And uh, I'm really jealous of them because they were smart enough to put in a sink. I put in a built-in barbecue in my house and didn't put in a sink. And uh, I've been regretting it ever since then. Okay, so you have a small uh, small yard out here. Uh, and then down over the edge. We're just built on a hillside here, so over the edge here. I'm imagining that's what the HOA takes care of uh, as far as this house goes. They, they must take care of that green belt over there. All right. Uh, like I said, there's all, uh, none of the windows are updated. So, again, you could survive with those, that's fine. But it's one of the things that some of the other houses are going to be, uh, uh, the ones that are updated, that's, you know, in a house this size, 15 grand job updating all those windows. Okay, uh, up the stairs and the carpet, like the, this carpet is okay, but I'm sure it's going to have to be switched out. Um, it's just, I, I'm guessing this was a rental, but I'm not quite sure. Because uh, people didn't take great care of it. So you come up, I'm going to show you the two bedrooms over here in the bathroom. So bathroom number one, you can see nothing's been updated. This one is, it has dual sinks. This is the one that would share the bedrooms upstairs. Uh, so side bedroom number one. 
I don't know if you can tell from the video, but these rooms are a lot bigger than some of the other uh, rooms that we've been in. Original window, no window covers over there, no window covers anywhere. That's something else. Um, this room number two, humongous, uh, oh, as they put in the listing, I think ginormous, uh, big room up here. So uh, this is a great space, actually has a wet bar here. So that was kind of common back in the... Uh, Back in the late 80s, early 90s, people would put a wet bar in these in these big rooms. And this room has a uh, balcony. So that's where the teenagers go to smoke pot, I guess, probably. And so, yeah, this is a huge room. You could do a lot of different things with it. And I already took you in that room. And then we got this glass up here. Um, people will probably like that, gets extra light into the master bedroom. So your master suite, really big. Uh, we walk into the master suite, walk-in closet, big. But you can see it needs to be, uh, all of this, the whole place needs to be painted. And this is 2,900 square feet where uh, you were pushing five grand or over five grand to repaint this whole place. And then to get it up to a real high rental standard, you might want to um, redo the bath here. So really odd oh there are dual sinks okay dual sink there dual sink here bathroom gets a lot of light so everything's just older style um pluses and minuses as i always tell you to updating the bathroom um and then there's a balcony on this side here over, overlooking the uh overlooking the, the uh, backyard okay you got the fireplace there big master suite um Look, I'm guessing, uh, you know, after this thing, if we if, after we do everything that needs to be, oh, there is a AC here already, so you don't need to put that in. Uh, after you do everything that needs to be done, I'm imagining this is probably about the same for updating as Canyon, maybe less, but it's a bigger house, so everything going to cost a little more, but not by much. This is $29.92, Canyon $27.50. Um, there's a fair bit of updating that's going to have to go into it. Let's just check out the uh, fixtures again downstairs. But uh, the carpet going to need to go up here probably. I mean, this might clean up, but you can see. Like, that's just the, the kind of thing that people in the 900, people who are paying 4000 for rent, they don't want that stuff on the carpet. Um, so, ballpark figure, 30 30, 35 grand to update this one as well. That doesn't include the windows. Whether you're going to upgrade the windows, the place does come much cheaper. Um, I'll, I'll bet you're, if you if you update everything with that amount, you're probably pushing uh, for right around four thousand in rent. I'd have to put the size of this place. Um, might be a little bit less than that, but I think four thousand. You know, let's call it thirty nine hundred plus or minus one fifty. Uh, that is the range you'd be at, but then you got to remember there's that 165, uh, 165 a month HOA fee that comes with it. So, yep, we'll take a look at uh, a couple more today. This is the first one I'm seeing today.